All right, so I'm back. Family, friends, and strangers, welcome back to the Whiskey Wasteland. As always, my name is Adam. What we like to do on our channel for our first-time viewers is we will pour, we will look at the color, we will nose, we will taste, and we will score. The big five, if you will. I apologize for one. This eye right here looks really weird. The lighting in here is weird for some reason today. Usually it's not like this, so maybe it's the time of day. I don't know. I'm going to enjoy a nice thirsty Thursday. I miss Whiskey Wednesday yesterday, so I'm going to make up for it today with a pretty special bottle. It's a tiny bottle, but it's good. And I just want to say I have been kind of away on, you know, business and, and just getting the channel more prepared. Uh, we've got some big things rolling out here soon. Uh, and, and I want to uh, say thank you so much. I'm just, I can't talk right now. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing, watching. Uh, we have a video with over 300 views. And going into this, if I had 10 people watching... I would be ecstatic. So three over 300 views is crazy to me. So with that, I'm going to repay you guys. I have something rolling out. I cannot discuss it yet. We'll be here very soon. And those are the opening announcements. What we have today is the Willet Pot Still Reserve. It's just a smaller bottle. Uh, it is to my hand. It's just one of those shot bottles. I picked this up. I didn't know if I'd like it. It is a cool conversation piece, the bottle and everything. So if I do like this, I will be getting a bigger bottle of this. I am excited to try this. It is readily available here where I am. So that's good. At least I do know um, a couple of places that have this regularly. So the Willet Distillery is in Bardstown, Kentucky, just about, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 miles away from here. That's just about where every bourbon distillery is here in Kentucky, uh, not too far away. So I am pretty lucky. I will be going to those distilleries this year, and that is some more big news that we have rolling out. Stay tuned. I cannot release that information yet. So, the uh, like I said, the uh, distillery is in Barstown, Kentucky, and... <clears throat> There's not really too much of a backstory on the Willet Distillery that I found anyway. I looked for quite a while. There's a couple things, but I just don't want to... I don't want to make this video too long, so we're going to pass on that this time. So, for the price point, you can get a basic size bottle, you know, 350 milliliter, 375, the bigger bottle, um, for around 35 to $40 here plus, you know, depending on where you go. The age statement is not available. I've heard anywhere from eight to 10 years. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. The, uh, the content, I believe, it is 47% ABV, which makes it a 94 proof. I'm gonna go ahead and read this bottle. We're gonna make this pretty short. I say that every time, pretty short review. It comes with this little Willet sticker thing which, you know, you can just kind of take that off, if you will. And on one side of this thing, it has the government warning. This is a 50 milliliter bottle for anyone that's wondering. And then on the other side here, it says small batch bourbon made in Kentucky. Batch number 16G02, bottled by Willet Distillery, Bardstown, Kentucky. And it's got a cool little Willet thing on there and the little, little sticker there. It says Willet. Will it pot still reserve? It's pretty cool. Uh, this is actually like wax kind of stuff, and it does have the will it stamp. The lighting here is terrible, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to get a uh, new setup here soon, so stay with me and bear with me, and we're going to get into this. Let's crack it open. Happy Thirsty Thursday. So typically on one of these bottles, it does have a cork. However, the little 50 milliliter bottle, you know, it's just one of the little, little shots. I do know the Blanton's has the cool little mini horse cork and all that stuff, but I guess Willet just doesn't want to go that route. So they save money and there you have it. 
So, let's go ahead. I am using the official bourbon whiskey tasting smelling nosing glass now. So, I had to do away with my got, uh, got bourbon glass. It's still here, but it's just not being used right now. Let me raffle that off or auction that off here soon for the channel. Who knows? Anyone interested? Let me know in the comments below. So, let's go ahead. I'm just going to pour all of this because it's technically a shot ish <clears throat> the color on it looks really good so far I'm liking the color quite a bit so let's go ahead and kind of swirl around here let it open up a little bit and the color on it's kind of medium medium almost apple juice long long legs on this sticks the glass white well and we're just gonna call this a medium amber it looks like about a medium amber it looks darker on the screen uh, let me let me see if I can't put a piece of paper up here let's see all right so how's that it's about a medium medium ish dark whiskey here so go ahead and smell taste nose I can't talk sorry guys So on this one, wow, that's got a powerful nose. Smells great. It smells really, really good. Up front, I get some candy. Almost like a, like a, between a peppermint and a mint candy. Some sweet cherries. Man, this smells good. You get the classic oak in the back, but... Gosh, this smells good. Vanilla, you get some candied vanilla, maybe. This smells great. Let's go ahead and taste this one. One more time. Okay. So for me, what I get up front is almost like a sweet oak. And that could be from the sweet corn that they use. Um, then on the back, as it's working its way down, you do get that candy, kind of cherry, soft, sugary candies. That's really, really good. It's smooth, no burn going down whatsoever. It's almost so good, it's making my mouth water. I've only had a couple, couple whiskeys do that, but this is a good one. It's got a good cherry finish to it, guys. Really good cherry finish. Um, that's all I have to say about it. Um, really good cherry finish. Sweet oak up front. <clears throat> On the way back, you get that candy. Now, I will say the aftertaste does not last a long time. I'd like it to last a little bit longer. But this is a good, 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 solid bourbon for the price, it's a, it's astronomical. We'll say that, especially for a bottle like this. You get a bottle of this on your shelf, and you don't you you bring someone over that isn't really experienced with whiskey or bourbon, and they say, "Man, you know this bottle here looks expensive." You know, it's a good conversation piece. I do know the Willet Distillery has a bunch more bourbons that are not in this bottle this is the only bottle i believe that is uh <clears throat> that is used i missed something here that is used this is the pot still bottle in other words they have just the basic round sphere with the uh with the with the neck on it but nothing like this from what i know they have a really good rye i haven't tried it's pretty rare uh it was in line well I waited in line 
not for that I waited in line for something else but they did have that available it went quick so hopefully I'll get my hands on that soon we could review that one they do have a couple other ones the small batch the uh, the the single barrel I'm gonna be trying some more Willet products out this is really good stuff so let me read I did forget to read what was on the back of the bottle here so it says and I'm sorry because I poured all this out it says distilled aged and bottled in Kentucky made from pure limestone spring water carefully selected grains and pr proprietary strains of yeast aged in new white oak casks until fully mature. Very, very solid whiskey. I give Willet a cheers, and this is a good one. The only thing that gets me is it just does not last as long as I want to on the on the palate. Anyway, guys, for a score, we're going to score this one an 89. Now, that's a very, very good score. Um, price point is there. The bottle is amazing. I just, I took some points off. I want that bourbon to last longer. If that bourbon lasts longer, that'd be in my top five for sure. It's a good one, so I'm, I'm probably going to put it in my top ten for now. But that's a good bourbon, and I will be buying another bottle very soon. <clears throat> so, just some closing announcements like usual. Make sure to like, subscribe, spread the word. Whiskey Wasteland is getting bigger. We have now hit quite a few subscribers on YouTube, which is nice. And then uh, a lot of reviews on Facebook. Facebook is doing very well. Not so many likes, but the views are there, which is okay. So, guys, please like every social media. I have Snapchat, which is... Excuse me. Um, what is my Snapchat? It is I Love Whiskey 502 The Instagram page is the underscore whiskey underscore wasteland, all lowercase. Go follow that one. And then my Facebook, The Whiskey Wasteland. Guys, please make sure to go follow these spread the word. I will be reaching out to each and every one of you who subscribe, who like, who comment, who are avid followers. I see you guys and I will be responding and reaching out and asking what everybody wants. I have some things rolled out so I may just ask opinions. Anyway, I'm rambling. I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. Guys, go get yourself a bottle of Willet pot still reserve if you can 89 out of 100 for me and until next time guys cheers from the wasteland <laughs>